Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Over the years, I've used a variety of text editors on just about every operating system. Uh, one of my all-time favorites is Nano. I believe it used to be Pico, uh, a utility that uh, runs on the command prompt either Mac OS X or on Linux. Um, I've used PS Pad on Windows. That is uh, my favorite as of right now for that particular operating system. I'm still looking for a good text editor on Mac OS X. Uh, I've found Smoltron, which I've appreciated, I think, more than any others because it's clean and straightforward. I know there are a few, but none that really do what I want to do and get out of my way when I don't want to use all the features that most text editors will throw at you. So, I'm going to ask again, what do you use to edit text files or, you know, code in, in a, a simple, straightforward fashion? Some people recommended TextPad. I never liked it, though. I don't know. I'm kind of picky when it comes to text editors. I've got a text editor running right now, uh, if you can see it. Can you see it here? It's right on my screen. You can see it, right? Can you see me now? Look at that. So you're thinking, well, Chris, that's a text editor? Yes, it is. Because as the title of this video here suggests, concentration. What happens if you need to write? Well, you're probably doing it on the desktop. And if you're doing it on the desktop, there are a million things going on. So what you need to do is strip away everything else and just edit text. So J Darkroom is a utility that will run cross-platform Linux, Mac, Windows, doesn't matter, and when you launch it, you'll be prompted with something like this. I mean, it'll say, hey, you can hit, I think it's control H, <laughs> and then you can get the help document. Of course, I increase the font somewhat, and I can increase or decrease the font uh, according to, uh, you know, different keyboard shortcuts, uh, or just go back to editing this. I am editing without any kind of distraction. It's really simple of course, a very stripped down text editor that lets me edit text. And that's just about it. So yeah, it's J Darkroom. And again, the only reason why you'd run it is because you wanted to be free of all distractions. And even if you're using your computer, you're gonna be distracted. I mean, it's just inevitable. I mean, all those utilities are just a click away. The internet is not even a click away. It's just there. And let's say, you know, you want to tab to a different, uh, you know, session. You can just hit Alt-Tab or whatever. Uh, and, well, it happens to be Command-Tab on this operating system. And it'll say, J Darkroom is still running. Click OK to switch back, which I will do. And I'm back to editing text. Select all. Here I go again. I'm starting over and I tell you this is quite refreshing not as refreshing as a can of soda water on a hot Seattle afternoon or say a cup of Pete's coffee I just I'm writing just random gibberish J Darkroom, take a look. And I really, really, really am looking for your recommendations. I'd prefer not to pay for a text editor, uh, but if I have to, I will. Uh, you know, I'm looking for the uber fast, uh, you know, most configurable, uh, very easy to use, straightforward, clean, as in not a junky UI. Um, I mean, doesn't it get any cleaner than this. Of course, this is really stripped down. It's just pretty much for editing text. So make the recommendations if you can. My email address is chris at perlo.com. Feel free to leave a follow-up comment. What text editor do you choose to use? You still with Notepad? Metapad? PSPad? What? What? You, you're still using VI? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. If you have to ask, it's not worth getting into right now. Well, if you are uh, interested in uh, making a few recommendations for the rest of the community or just want to talk tech about software solutions, hardware, internet services, whatever, we're a whole bunch of geeks hanging out and just in this chat room that's being done in conjunction with the live video feed here that some people are watching, at least 450 people are watching me record this video right now. 
So you can stop by and say hi, and uh, you know maybe you could be a part of the next video recording as these people currently are in this one. So in order to do that, you gotta stop by the website. And that happens to be open 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.